In the recent weeks, many articles, photos and videos of Russian drones came up. Unlike the United States Air Force, the Russian Air Force only features a handful of operational UAVs and there is by far not as much information on the internet. Perhaps one of the most produced drones from the Russian Federation is the Orlan 10. During the ongoing war in Ukraine, one of them crashed in Romania and what was found out about its technologies surprised the world. Just as many things that have to do with Russia, it is difficult to reach verified information about the Orlan 10 drone. Some statements in this video may not be exact. In the early 2010s, a Russian special technology center, short STC, introduced the Orlan 10. In Russian, Orlan means eagle. It featured a standard high wing design and is at least in the latest version fully built out of composite materials like fiberglass and carbon fiber. As we'll see later, many parts of the original design came from RC model aircraft. I am personally an RC pilot, so it is a little easier for me to understand why they used certain technologies and hardware. With a wingspan of 3.1 meters and a length of 1.8 meters, it has a typical size for drones of its class and professionally built RC planes. Compared to other drones, the maximum takeoff weight of 80 kg is pretty lightweight. The maximum speed of 150 km an hour or 100 miles an hour equals the speed of many model aeroplanes. When flying autonomous, it can fly ranges of up to 1000 km while being on an altitude of up to 6 km. The engine used in the Orlan 10 drone is a Saito FA62B single cylinder 4 stroke petrol motor that provides up to 1 horsepower. In circles of aeromodelers, Japanese model engine manufacturer Saito is famous for its high quality and performance 2 and 4 stroke engines. During the flight, the petrol is stored in used PET bottles. This seems as a pretty cheap but radical solution for fuel tanks. Once fueled, the Orlan 10 can stay in the air for up to 16 hours. Little details about the avionics and the camera systems are known. The only thing confirmed is that they use a Canon EOS 750D digital SLR camera for high resolution photos. Additionally, multiple sensors like infrared cameras are assumed to be installed. When flying in ground piloted mode, the pilot can control the airplane via a FPV system. FPV systems have become popular in the recent years to control drones and RC model airplanes and see everything in the pilot's perspective. Until this information was confirmed, it wasn't expected that, that Russia would actually use simple technologies in their reconnaissance UAVs. Just as many other military drones, the Orlan 10 is launched from a catapult and lands via parachute. Usually it is controlled by a ground control unit. One set consisting of catapult, ground control unit and several drones costs up to $120,000. This makes it a lot cheaper to buy than any other similar UAV, which normally costs multiple times more. Until now, more than 1,000 have been built. Even though it is not verified, it is assumed that the Orlan 10 is still in production. The armies of Russia, Kazakhstan and Burma officially use the Orlan 10. But in the end, how is the Orlan 10 drone used and how does it affect the war in Ukraine? The main purpose of the Orlan drone is reconnaissance. Usually three of them fly in formation on each mission. Every one of them has its own to-dos and tasks. One of them takes photographs and does the main reconnaissance thing. The second one is responsible for electronic warfare, which includes warfare by using electromagnetic waves to take over control of the enemy's vehicles. And the third one transmits all the game data to the ground station. In most conflicts in which Russia was involved, like Syria, Belarus, Romania and Ukraine, which we'll talk about later, the Orlan 10 was used. In Syria, Orlan 10s were mainly used to create live maps of the areas where the civil war took place. Other different usages also took place in Syria. In today's Ukraine war, things are a lot more complicated. When the whole crisis started in 2014, Ukrainian officials reported several Orlan tents to be shot down. In the years after, more of them followed. When the war finally broke out in 2022, new versions of the Orlan 10 were reported to be in usage. Later in March 2022, a Russian Orlan 10 crashed in Romania. Presumably, it had observed the regions and countries around Ukraine. 
but this information was never confirmed. This crash Orland 10 gave valuable insights in the technology used in the UAV. Without it many details, especially about the camera systems, condition of the airplanes and other quite important details would never have reached publicity. Still, we don't know too much about Russia's most common drone. This video contains almost all information available for publicity. On my channel Aviation Life I try to report about the most important things and recent events happening in the world of aviation, spreading unknown information about particular airplanes and bring it to the community as understandable as possible. In future you will also see short documentaries about the past, the present and the future of aviation. So see you in the next video.